Hey guys, glad to have you here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about proxy support in the Answer and Salt. The Answer and Salt supports a wide range of proxy solutions. You can have the inbuilt proxies, you can use the inbuilt proxies. Um, we support HTTP proxies and USA, typically proxies from the USA tend to be better with Yahoo Answers than you know any other country. Might be because they're racist towards the USA, I don't know, but whatever it is, they support US IPs rather than any other countries when creating accounts, posting and that kind of thing, which is fine. So just make sure you get US IPs. Um, to import proxies into the program, go ahead and go to the proxy information page and type in, sorry, and click the import button down below. This will bring up a window, find your proxy text file. Um, as you can see, it's going to be, sorry. Okay. It's going to go ahead and import my proxies. I have 40 proxies imported. Um, the correct format for importing proxies they must be in the following format in your text file. They must be IP port, like so. Obviously replacing IP with your IP and port with your port. Line by line they must be separated and structured in that manner. That way you can quickly import it into the program without any troubles. So these proxies now will be used for account creation, um, for posting and that kind of stuff, whatever you want to do it. Because I know businesses tend to use proxies for a number of legitimate reasons and there's nothing wrong with that because you're not doing anything illegitimate whatsoever. So you got that. Uh, additionally, what you can actually use, you can use in a VPN. Now a VPN is a virtual private network. A virtual private network is a third party application that runs behind Answer Assault to encrypt your entire internet connection. Whereas Answer Assault, the proxies used in Answer Assault are only going to be used for Answer Assault, the VPN will encrypt everything that's happening on your computer. Everything that's happening on your computer. So any website you're trying to connect to, any other application you're using. It's very simple and reduces the load of this program since it doesn't require it to actually do anything else. It uses your home network connection and connects through that to a different server and then connects to your location, your destination. So it's way more sophisticated but at the same time much simpler to use. Now and in addition to this, just to finalize that, much more cost effective than typical private proxies. You know, some private proxies may cost you up to you know, 50, 100, 200 dollars a month. A VPN will cost you no more than 20, 20, 25 bucks a month. So it's much more cost effective and typically provides you with more IPs. You know, like the Hide My Ass VPN, which I'm going to be showing you now, comes with 8,000 IPs built in, I believe. So it's quite extensive. Let's go ahead and open Hide My Ass. This is what you can expect to see from a VPN. This kind of thing. Um, and you have your country selection, you can select different countries you want to connect to um, and different protocol types, a number of different countries all around. Again, US is typically better, but you know, either or. Um, additionally, you can also rotate IPs automatically. This is quite unusual for a VPN, but nonetheless it's very, very good because um, it lets you quickly, without doing anything else, automatically rotate every IP every 30 seconds, every minute, however long you specify. So that's that. Um, and finally, finally, if you want to make sure that everything's safe, you've got uh, you've got the secure IP bind here, which allows you to bind your program to the uh, VPN. So if the VPN is not connected, the program will not load. Pretty much, just ensures that you're always connected to the IP, always using an IP, um, a proxy or server, so that for whatever reason, whatever for whatever reason, you're secure behind your network and you're good to go. So that was an overview of VPNs and proxies. We recommend you use VPNs. Um, proxies will also work. Typically, you'll need to use a private proxy as opposed to a public proxy. Is they're you know much faster um, and support a greater load than public proxies do. But it's totally up to you. Both should work. And that's all for today. If you have any questions or if I missed anything out, please drop me a comment at the website or use the live chat feature over there as well. So that's all. And just to finalize this off. Here you have your proxy IPs, okay, um, and here you have, you can quickly edit them if you want, whatever you do, enable, disable, you can set up proxy rotation automatically, every, I don't know, however long you want to rotate, every 60 seconds, every 15 seconds, you will automatically move down the list to the next proxy, um, whilst you're creating accounts, whilst you're posting, that kind of thing. If you want to exit it, just hit stop proxy rotation, and once again, you're good to go. So that's all for today, check out our next videos for more information. Bye.